As the state's political conventions approach, two more candidates have jumped into different races. Our government reporter, Justin Gick, is here with more. Justin? Monica, Republican Alex Ballas entered the race for North Dakota's sole congressional seat a couple of weeks ago, and tomorrow Democrat Merrill Pepcorn launches his campaign for governor. The question is, why are we still seeing candidates announcing for these races with the conventions just days away? Political analyst Rick Clayberg says some of this is about timing. He says in a way, a lot of people haven't really been paying attention to a lot of activities of both parties. Clayberg says some of the district conventions started as early as January, so a number of these candidates are still trying to determine what makes sense for them. I think from the standpoint of the Republican candidate, uh, running, going to the convention, trying to seek the endorsement at the convention, this close to the um, convention is probably a little more difficult. It's a different story with the, on the Democrat side because they haven't filled uh, many of their candidates. Clayberg says it is a very different year now because there are a lot more candidates on both the legislative and statewide levels who are bypassing the conventions and going right to the June primary. He says this changes the dynamics a bit, but adds for somebody stepping forward now and trying to seek the party's endorsement, it is late in the game. Clayberg doesn't think the last-minute candidates will sway a lot of voters' opinions because many people haven't even made up their minds yet.